So tonight, I don't have to deliver this bad news to Sean's family. However, he has sustained some serious injuries. Injuries that come under the category of life-altering. He's going to be paralysed. You lot are out and about, and you know who's who and what's what. And I would ask you to remember how valuable you are to your families, and to make the right decision in life when it comes to your own safety. I hope and trust and pray that I don't have to stand here next year or the year after or the year after that and tell the people that are sitting in those seats how I get tend to sing what you were killed. Thank you very much. Two broken ankles, two bust knees, broken pelvis, bust femurs, um, broken back, broken tailbone, broken neck, broken jaw. Two arteries going to the heart were damaged, one going to the brain was damaged, and broken collarbone. Um, I did double heart bypass, and through that I lost uh, my arm from the elbow down. But just before, I go off if everybody could stand up and give everybody a round of applause for the fire. The one thing about the roads is that they don't discriminate. They don't care if you're 17 or 70. They'll make you a stat. Respect the roads. Because believe me, and we see it all the time, they won't respect you. We had almost a thousand kids in there from a range of different schools, from Donegal and from Derry. And this afternoon we have a similar story and again tomorrow morning. Uh, so we like to feel it as a very effective vehicle for getting the message about road safety and the dangers of uh, driving too quickly on the roads across to the kids. Be sensible out there in terms of uh, their driving and also to be very sensible in terms of who they get into a car with. I think that's very strong part of the message is that uh, they should avoid getting into a car with someone who they think might be reckless in driving that car and put their lives in danger. 